I gotta go get a haircut afterwards, so. Alrighty, so what we are gonna do today is we are going to clean my car. Or what I'm gonna do today is clean my car. The foam blaster, we're gonna thoroughly clean the, the paint. And then what we're gonna do is give it a coat of wax. Cause I have not actually given, I haven't used this on a car yet. So I'm actually excited to do that. To see what, uh, how easy of a job this makes cleaning a car. I used this on the boat, but not on the car yet. So that's pretty much it for right now. So let's let's get to it. So now that I have the car wiped down with car soap and uh, and uh, car washing mitt, time to power wash it and get started. I always keep that in the car, just in case. That's a lifesaver when you need it. Good to go. All right, so I got the wax on the trunk, the front bumper, and the two side fenders. It's, it, it's dry by now. It's ready to buff out. So let's see on how this six inch, six inch buffer works on a car. You know what, I feel like I need something bigger than a 1.5. I feel like I could, a 3 amp hour I think should be a lot better. This is so easy to maneuver. It really is, because the uh, this handle, that's all you need. Just let it glide. Even on a when it's like this. It's not it's not heavy to where you gotta like grip it really tight to keep it stable. Go 
it's time to bring the car inside because the sun, because the sun is starting to beat up on the car and get the, the surface hot. So I have to do that to uh, keep the metal cool so I could actually wax it. Because if your metal's too hot, you can't do anything. It'll just be bad results. Same thing with cleaning the windows. The windshield, uh, the windows need to be cold, cool when you clean them. If you try to clean them when the window's hot, you'll get uh, scratch lines everywhere. All right, so as you can see in the demonstration of the six inch Ryobi buffer, the one plus buffer, uh, it, it, it did a great job. It did it easy. This, the position of this handle uh, truly helps everything. Now if with the, uh, I think it's a, the 10 inch buffer, the handle is like this, you're limited to what you can do. That's great for the top stuff, the flat surfaces, when you, you can hold it like that, but this is great for everything. You can hold it like this, it very easily, just do what you gotta do, hold it like this. The, the, that handle is perfectly positioned to where you could you use it in any way. So it's, a, it's quiet, it's very easy, it doesn't vibrate. Even when it's on when it's on the car, it, it's nice and smooth. Your hands don't get numb, and it, it does a good no swirls, no nothing. And it, I think, I think this is better than the 10 inch one because of the the six inch diameter buffing area. You get a little bit more concentrated spot, but it's a smaller pad, and so it'll do a better job with a little bit longer time. Now, if you want to do, do a a uh, fast job to where it does a wider range of a buffing area. The 10 inch is what you want to go, but if you want to do a smaller area that's a little bit more concentrated and it buffs it really well, this is the one to go with. And I did the entire car and I used up half the battery life. Half. Now the 1.5 amp hour battery wasn't doing the trick. I could tell that it was uh, it was struggling if there was a slight bit of pressure. It just wasn't powerful enough. I, there was a big difference as, as soon as I put the three amp hour in. And so with you can do two car, probably two almost two cars, depending on how thorough you buff your car with one a three amp hour battery. So this thing's awesome. I, I love this thing. Of course, unfortunately, I got you know wax on my hands, so I got wax all over this. So now I got to clean this off so it doesn't. Uh, deteriorate the the rubber molding and so yeah this thing is this thing's good i'm sorry if i have extra noise because i am hot it's hot outside uh i got the fan going and uh when it comes to buffing your car you need to be in a shaded area or your uh car needs to be cool because if you uh put wax on a hot surface 
it won't buff out like this. It'll actually, uh, it'll be too dry and you'll create, it'll soften the paint up and it, you'll create swirls. So you need to have your car in a cool area. Same thing with your windows. I clean the windows. Now this is my first time having a shaded area in all my life. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. I gotta do my wife's car soon. She, uh, sometime this week, uh, her car is getting bad to where it needs a good waxing and cleaning. So uh, mine's done. I gotta get ready for work soon. I gotta go get a haircut. I'm hoping that it's not like a 45 minute wait to go get that. Otherwise I can't because I gotta be at work at 12 and it's 10. It will take me no time to get ready for work, but I gotta go now. So that's my re uh, another review of the buffer. This thing is phenomenal. I love this. I am not gonna get the 10 inch buffer because this one works perfectly already. It polishes the boat, it polishes cars with no uh, trouble or any situations whatsoever. It's, it's a good product. So that's pretty much it. So uh, a lot of stuff is coming up. Uh, I wanna talk about sharing and social media in, in an upcoming video, a short video, but it's coming up soon. But this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.